The Alabama High School Athletic Association made it official late this week that the coronavirus pandemic has wiped out spring sports in the state completely. There will be no spring championships won in 2020. Likewise, for Spring Hill College athletics, student athletes won't return to campus, and the NCAA has granted spring athletes another year of eligibility. Athletic Director Joe Nyland says it will be a tough decision facing seniors to come back to school or graduate and move on with their lives. The complication is the scholarship dollars. Uh, you know, if you're not really going to go pro, maybe, or have a chance to go pro, and you got a chance to graduate and move on to your job, do you really want to come back and play in the spring? Uh, you know, there's a lot of different things, roster sizes, uh, financial aid. Most of the people in spring sports are not full scholarship athletes, even at the highest level. So, you know, do you want to come back and pay for more schooling? Nyland says some high school senior athletes being recruited will also be facing some tough choices. If you're signed, you're good. But if you haven't signed yet and it's just a verbal offer, or you're waiting to do visits and look at campus, you know, you're, you still have that opportunity. It's going to happen. It's just a pause on it right now. Spring Hill College was founded in 1830. While the coronavirus has shut things down for now at the school, the history of Spring Hill proves the Badgers will bounce back. You think, uh, you know, yellow fever, the Civil War, uh, Spanish flu, uh, World War I, World War II, the Depression, you know, this, this college has seen about all that the U.S. experience can offer in history and has been able to survive and overcome. And I think we'll do the same again. Uh, it's going to be a battle, and it was battle in those times. Randy Patrick, News 5 Sports.